In this video, I'm going to talk about central retinal artery occlusion. So first, I'll briefly explain the blood supply of the retina. So we know that there are 10 layers of the retina, and the outer 4 layers are supplied by choreal capillaries, whereas the inner 6 layers are supplied by the central retinal artery, which is the main topic we are going to discuss today. The fovea is supplied by choreal capillaries, and the macular region is supplied by the superior and inferior temporal branches of the central retinal artery. The definition of central retinal artery occlusion is that it is a pathological condition in which the central retinal artery that carry blood to the eye become blocked, causing the sudden onset of vision loss in the affected eye. Risk factors of central retinal artery occlusion include clotting disorders, for example, sickle cell disease or protein S deficiency. Embolus is the most common risk factor. Can also due to giant cell arthritis, vasculitis, pregnancy that increases the coagulation, history of surgery or medications like oral contraceptive pills. The pathogenesis of central retinal artery occlusion, it is usually due to embolus. And there are three types which are the fibrin platelet emboli, commonly dislodged from diseased carotid arteries. The second type is cholesterol emboli, commonly from diseased carotid arteries as well, and calcific emboli, which is usually dislodged from heart valves, where there is calcification in the valves. The clinical feature includes sudden onset, painless loss of vision. And the signs we can see on the fundoscopy are swollen and white retina, and the fovea will appear as a cherry red spot, we can see over here. There is also paleness in the retina. Investigations, we should do a careful vascular workup, since the disease in the eye may uh, suggest some systemic vascular disease, and there is an increased risk of stroke. So we could search for carotid artery disease by assessing the strength of the carotid pulsation and also listen using a stethoscope for any carotid brutes. The presence of ischemic heart disease or peripheral collocation, hypertension, diabetes and high cholesterol may also be relevant so we have to ask carefully in the history. And Doppler ultrasound or magnetic resonance angiography will help in the imaging of the carotid arteries. So the acute treatment of the central artery occlusion is to dilate the arteriole to permit the embolus to pass to more distal parts and thus limit the damage to the eye. However, the results are usually disappointing, although the trial is worthwhile if the patient is seen within 24 hours of onset of the obstruction. So we can do ocular massage to try to dislodge the embolus to distal branches. To reduce the damage, and a carotid endarterectomy may be indicated to prevent the possibility of a cerebral embolus. Patients may also benefit from immediate anticoagulant or antiplatelet like aspirin. The prognosis full visual recovery occurs with amaurosis fugax, but more prolonged arterial occlusion will cause severe and unrecoverable visual loss. So that's all from me, thank you.